So I'm gonna give you a choice right now on how far you sort of wanna take this. Your first level of the challenge, I've got a level up challenge, you can see in the book as well. And the first level is going to be to apply color to the ballerina, including the lips and the hair, and then make her dress just one color. And I'm gonna do this really quick in one of those sort of speed painting type deals so you can get an idea of what I am expecting. Okay, so we're gonna call this level one. You're gonna paint the dress. You need to make sure that you get the hair and also the uh, lips should be colored. Oh, and you know what? I also think we need to color the eyes. So I'm gonna make a new layer for that. And dang it, look, I did it on the wrong layer. You're gonna make this mistake too. So, uh, well, you may make this mistake. I'm gonna just undo Control Alt Z, Command Alt Z on the Mac until I get it all gone. I'm gonna make sure that I have it erased, the skin color off of the eyes. And then I'm gonna have to redo it all again on the eyes layer. You know, as soon as I started painting, I realized, you know, this is not transparent the way that it should be and i knew something was wrong but i figured i'd just roll forward anyway and see that it was a mistake so now i'm just going to paint a smidge of blue in there um this is going to be really turned down and really subtle but still i just want it in there see that just a little hint of it this is level one so level two is that you're gonna apply color to the ballerina and the dress, but the dress needs to be three colors or more. And I'll just tell you what my grandmother told me when we talked about this photo and I originally colored this for her back in the day. She said that the dress was supposed to look like a rose. So kind of like, if you look at it, it's kind of an upside down rose, like here's the leaves of the rose. And then here's kind of, you know, that part where the petals come out of that kind of greenish part. And then these are the actual petals there. And this was just like extra parts of the flower. So uh, figure out how you wanna do it, but feel free to really experiment, try new things and just go nuts with the color. You just need to do at least three different colors. And here is a bonus for those of you who are watching and uh, paying attention here and kind of seeing what's going on, getting some ideas. There it is, paint bucket tool. So what the paint bucket tool does is it fills in an enclosed area, right? If I close all of these out, let's even get rid of this one here. We can see this is a closed in area. What that means is that if I just click within this closed in area, right, it's got kind of boundaries that will stop the paint from spreading. If I just click in there, boom, it fills the whole thing. Now, the reason we get this little bit of a border here is because my brush was a little bit soft. So uh, to, to solve this, what I can do is just turn the hardness all the way up and then this shouldn't happen anymore. But that's the trick to fill in kind of a large area. Not much of a time saver on this project, but hey, every little bit helps.
Okay, so now I am done with the dress. This would be level two. I've got the dress done and I've got at least three colors. I've got the dark green, I've got the light green, I've got this pink. And then the very last section is to fill in the whole background, do the wall, this little window here and the floor. I'm going to um, also show you another trick because you're in here and paying attention. This is a shortcut that is not detailed in the book. So, um, and I'm gonna just show you with this window and then I'm going to encourage you to kind of do your own. So I'm gonna just put window and check out this tool right here. This guy, the polygonal lasso. So it's right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click here and you see what it does is it just makes kind of straight lines, different places. So I'm gonna just kind of go here along, but since all of my, you know, divisions between this and this part of the wall are perfectly straight. I'm going to just use this tool and now I can use the paint bucket. Doesn't really matter what color I fill it in with because I can always just turn the opacity down. I'll just change the blending mode to color, but then I can do a hue and saturation shift. I feel like I want it to be kind of, yeah, brownish, um, Leaning into yellow, I think, is what I am going for. Actually, that looks pretty good. So now when I deselect that, though, I'll tell it, okay, deselect is control D, all right, for deselect. But now you can see how it's going over my ballerina. So then on that layer, I just click on my eraser tool, and I just start pulling that out of there. And I still have that color selected. So, oh no, I don't. I just realized I don't have that color selected. I'm gonna have to use the uh, switch it to 100% trick. So I would just go back here to normal, go to 100%, sample it. And now I've got that color that I'm using. And oh, I don't even remember where I was. Oh, that's pretty good. And now we can just kind of finish perfecting this just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is completing the project. At the level three challenge, you color everything. You've got the background done, the ground and everything, right? That's gonna be level three. And you can see I have rushed through and I haven't even finished everything. I've got a little bit of overlap here in a couple spots. I'm doing that on purpose because I got something to show you in the next video. But this would be level three without doing the window and the ground and stuff, just coloring the ballerina, but the dress has at least three colors in it, that would be level two. And level one would be just one color on the dress. Oh, and don't forget the shoes like I did. So I forgot the shoes. I'm gonna just go back and grab that blue and I'm gonna just paint onto the shoes really quick to get that blue in there. And then uh, that will be done with level one. So choose your challenge and I will see you guys in the next video where we talk about how to organize our layers and tweak our colors.